The Liberty Science Center gets 650,000 visitors a year, but it's an island unto itself, nestled next to a turnpike off-ramp on the fringe of Liberty State Park. But SciTech City, a proposed 16-acre, $276 million science center, research facility, school, hotel, and residential development, would transform the area into a nationally recognized science research and education village with other tangible benefits for the community at large. Our mission is to inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers and to create jobs in the SciTech sector. It sounds great, and most everyone at this council meeting said they liked the plan. The problem? The city wants to give the land away, 16 acres with Manhattan views, for 10 bucks, and that's left some critics angry. Not a lot of detail at all. Everything came out of left field. Uh, we're sitting on one of the most the prime pieces of property in the world, and uh, it's not valueless. I'm not a realtor, I'm not a lawyer, uh, but I know it's not valueless. This is not 1985. Well, the fact of the matter is that this land hasn't been purchased. No one's even asked about it. Ten years ago, there was a project of, or someone was interested in purchasing the land, and they eventually vacated it because of a number of problems uh, with the land. You have view shed restrictions, you have uh, Spectra gas pipelines going through there. It's very difficult to build on that site. Makes sense for us because we're adjacent to the museum. Um, you know, I, I know that the Liberty State Park wouldn't like to see some big uh, condo high rise go up there either. Well, I figure the value of the land is five to eight million an acre. And with the reval coming, there's enough problems here in Jersey City. You can't give away 16 acres of land. They say, oh, we're going to make the money down the road. But I'm worried about now, not down the road. Short sighted, says Mayor Steve Fulop making the city a center for science and technology is a win beyond dollars and cents, he says. The return is going to be thousands of kids that get educated to be leaders in science and math. And that's how we're looking at it. And we think that's the responsible way. It's not a partnership about making money, although we are financial partners in it. But that's not what's driving this. It's driving this is the fact that we have an opportunity to track minds from around the world that are leaders in science and technology and have them here in Jersey City innovating. The city will get a cut of the profits, sufficient to the current appraised value of the property on a diminishing scale after the Science Center gets its investment back, around $78 million. It all seemed very complicated for some on the council, which led other community members to say, whoa. Let me, let me say how I understand this, and then you can just say, yes, that's right, or no, that's wrong. Because it seems like there's still confusion, and let's just clear it up. What are the revenues that are going to be uh, recouped and shared and, and just given back to the city for the appraised value of the land? And you can ask questions after the public hearing. Can there you are people in the public who came here to speak. I got men and women in the back of this auditorium who came down here with me. They need jobs. These kids' fathers and mothers need jobs. We need a project that we can educate our children. My request is that the council would consider pausing on approving this and, in fact, voting no in order to give enough time to adequately collaborate with the community. But with hundreds of millions of dollars at stake, the council majority decided there was no time to waste. And after a four-hour-plus public hearing, voted six to three to go ahead with the plan. Whether politics trumped science this night will remain to be seen. In Jersey City, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.